Welcome back everybody to the Johnny Guitar channel. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate. And in the last episode, Liar Jane and her friends, um, they finished the Nashkel uh, Mine Dungeon. They figured out that someone, well, you know what? Okay, you know what? Let's just look at our journal. It's been a minute. Okay, well, we found out that a man named Transig was kind of behind poisoning the iron. Somehow they were tainting the iron in the mine. Um, I should return to Baroon Gaskill. The problem, and so I know I need to go to Baragos, but Baroon Gaskill. I don't remember who that man is at all. Where am I in the world map? Interesting. I don't remember if Baroon asked if the Baroon guy was. Hmm. I mean, I know how to get the belt. Uh. Oh. You there. Is your name Liar Jane? Hurry up and answer. Your answer better be the truth, for your life depends on it. Okay. Yeah, my name is Liar Jane. What are you going to do about it? That is good. My companions and I have tracked you for many days. I am to give you a message. You and your friends are to die. Your interference with the Iron Throne may have caused some minor setbacks, but die knowing that your actions were mostly futile. I see. Um, okay, you guys, let's, let's just attack them with everything we have. Does that sound good, guys? Go up there. Slaughter. My blade will cut you down to size. Slaughter the mage. Slaughter My the mage, quickly. Cut you down to size. Worry not. I am not worried. See what they had on them. Ooh, magical leather armor darts. Oh, this is good loot. Okay, magical long sword. I can carry no more. I've started dropping things. No, no, Jane, you did not start dropping things. Let's uh, let's check out your inventory. Okay. Cannot identify it, but it looks it looks like a unique unique leather armor, so we're gonna keep that. Anything like the dart of wounding. Can I use darts? Nope, not proficient. Who can use darts? Anyone? Okay, Liar Dane will just have them as a backup weapon. Potion of Insight. Wisdom goes up to 18. I bet I could drink this. Doing it. My theory is that if I drink this potion and then look at these again. Oh, I thought maybe I can identify them using wisdom alone. Okay, well, I wasted. That potion. Okay, fire arrows. Let's pick those up. Let's give those to Imowin. There you go, Imowin. Here's some fire arrows for you. Okay, that's at least studded leather plus one. What am I looking at? Studded leather armor. Giving me the plus one. There we go. Imowen, do you want this, or are we using you as a mage? I don't think we've been using you as a mage for, for quite a while. What do you have, sir? A long sword. Let's get rid of this quarter staff. Get rid of it. Yeah, put it on the ground. That's weird. Why would Liar Jane use a quarter staff? She is a dual wielder. Okay. 
Agreed. There we go. Howerer Hower plus one. Once wielded by Erebel, a water Havian paladin of Lathander, used against a vampire. It's got good deck. Ooh, damage against undead, so bonus against undead. One handed, not usable by cleric, druid, mage, shaman. So, it's pretty much just a paladin. Oh, cool. Nemo wins the only one who's able to use it. Interesting. Okay. Um. What is this? Some sort of... Oh, a knoll. For oh, the fallen! Yeah, I'm just exploring this area a little bit. Not much going on here. Okay, let's just let's just get out of here, you guys. Unless this might be a good chance for us to rest, actually. Let's give it a rest to get our potions or our uh, magic spells all charged up. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Agreed. Okay, I guess we're a little closer to... Certainly I shall collapse from exhaustion before I fall on the battlefield. Boy, the misery's laying down the side. Save, save the cow. You have to help me, them Zvarts are after my cows again. Hey, don't worry, bro. I got you. Tempest, give us victory! Kill him. to find a traveling merchant or something. You, sir. Thanks for saving Arabelle here. Ever since some Varts and their cobalt kin swarmed the mines at Nashgel, they've been making attacks like that more and more often. If someone like yourself could get to the bottom of that, all of us trying to make an honest living out here would sure be grateful. I'm pretty sure I've already taken care of that. Sir. Good on you if you save the day. I mean, they're operating in the mine, right? It's, house looks abandoned. I wonder if he's implying that their base is around. Oh, let's do this. For the fallen! Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's throw these in the gym bag. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just having you carry some stuff for me. Though, if anyone finds a identify spell, that would be awesome. What do we got? Just a gold ring. Okay. It's a decent level up, I guess. What about you, Khalid? Nothing? Okay.
Okay, looks like we've got a man named Sprat. Let's kill the Cobalt first. in my storm Ooh, perfect identify you know though it occurs to me that my wizard may already can, know can how I to identify you? things see this is the wizard um zan that we picked up at the very end of the last episode he's got a cool moon blade he's got some cool stuff on him oh no i remember he can't, he can use an identify spell, but he can't do it on his own, is what I believe. Okay, you take the spell, also give him the leather armor, let's identify that with the scroll, protector of the second plus two. The Mist of Shadows were an elite group of elven rangers that roamed the Cormanthor Wood and were the bane of bandits and monsters alike. This particular armor was worn by Indira Lakin, one of the group's most highly decorated officers and second in command. The suit is named for her, although it's how it came to part her company is unknown. Um, okay. Okay, so it's just got extra piercing and missile damage, I guess. Is that it? Okay. Let's take that. Okay. Let's throw that on the ground. I shall. No, no, no time, no time. On the run with info. Off to Om to report of things most dire indeed. Bandit raids increasing, iron ore depleting, everyone is up in arms about their lack of arms. No wonder relations are strained to the brink. On my way, I am to Om. Okay. So I wonder if that farmer we ran into thinks that the kobolds are coming from this area it might be worth investigating the thing is everybody i don't want to blast my way through the main mission because i think i need to be like a certain level before i can really tackle some of the harder challenges ahead got okay, to be a certain level especially if i'm going to end up fighting undead or worse liches Okay, who do we got? For the fallen! Good job. Good job. Just keep just keep slaughtering, I guess, as we go. Oh, that one's a commando. Okay. We actually might be getting close. No. Ah! Please keep attacking. Probably fire arrows. Okay. So yeah, I need to start doing side missions. What is needed? Okay, what is needed, Liar Jane, is that you keep playing that sweet music. Okay, that's what's needed. Your troops need you. Okay, now that we're a couple levels in to the game, um, getting a little better at this. And, you know, I know that we're not really tactically attacking enemies. I'm mostly just pressing the attack button and having everyone do it. But here's the thing. I'm getting better at outfitting my companions. I'm getting better at using buffs. 
Your iron or your life? No, your iron and your life. Yeah, that one's better. Oh, is he talking to me or... What? You don't really want to kill us, do you? Yeah, we kill you, maybe eat you later once iron smelted, okay? Oh. Shit. Okay, just take care of the ones right next to us for the moment, you guys. Good job. Ooh, another identi identify spell. Love it. Love it. Just keep those coming. Getting a lot of bandit scalps, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing with those, if, if we're being honest. I can carry no more. I've started dropping things. None of you do uh, two-handed, huh? Let's let Khalid carry some. Okay, first off, Khalid, drop the frickin'. Drop the extra shield. There we go. Yeah, let's start giving stuff to Khalid. For some reason, just knowing he's gonna die one day, I just, I just don't want to give him any of the good stuff. Give that to our friendly wizard. What? Worry not. Okay, found a random water opal. Okay, let's go into this cave. Who knows what lies beneath? Looks like it is a etter cap. Hmm. Okay, everybody just Tempest gives play. us victory. Oh crap, he Anyone... Okay, I guess we gotta wait until the spell run runs out. Oh, sorry. How long is this? There we go. Just, just keep, just keep moving. Okay, we're all just stuck, I guess. How do I get out of this? Done. I shall. Okay, that was it, huh? Okay, I thought I thought that was gonna be uh, maybe a little more exciting for us, you guys, but it's fine. I feel like by clearing out the Noshkel mines that I have already loin. There's a toll for passing this way, friends, and it happens to be your life. Are you willing to part with it? Okay. Seriously, I will destroy all of you. Then let these subtle games begin. Fire, comrades, let's be richer for their folly. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's first slay this guy. Ion Gal Chobhair. Chobhair? <laughs> Worry not. Wait, wait. Kill him. Khalid, I want you to be the one I to pick everything but up. Try. There is an increase in bandit attacks, you guys. 
They weren't kidding. Can we pick up some regular arrows, please, too? Man, we have so many bandit scalps, you guys. I don't know who I'm going to be turning these into, but... Got a lot of them. Approaches. This may prove difficult. Yeah, you guys keep helping. Don't just walk away. Seriously. Useless. Okay, we're back to the abandoned house. Yeah, if I'm uh, being truthful about it, I'm definitely not seeing some sort of hideout or base for the Varts and Cobalts. Okay, everybody, do your best. Oh, My blade will cut you down to size. Oof. No, no. Shit. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Okay, everybody help me destroy this hobgoblin. Okay, looks like there's a body over here. Okay, what about these bodies? Okay, interesting, but not exactly what I'm looking for, you guys. I think we're about done exploring this area. For a moment, I thought I could have a conversation with a bear. Nope. Okay. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay, I want you to attack that guy. I want you, Khalid, to attack that guy. Go. Certainly, I shall collapse from exhaustion before I fall on the battlefield. I can, but try. That was barely an ambush, you guys. I feel like, I feel like we walked out of that like pros. Okay, while we're here, might as well level up. Got a lot of fatigue going on right now. I should probably. Okay, so Liar Jane is able to detect illusion pretty well. So I think we're just going to do make Imowen a little more sneaky. Bring her locks up too. Okay, cool. Great job, Amoin. Um, did you guys want to rest here for the night? Because I noticed that two of you have fatigue. You big babies. Oh, never mind. Worry not. Hmm. Let's 
stop by here. Okay, looks nice. Been here before. Let's look at the area map. Okay. Okay, I do remember being here before. Let us take a little nap. That way they'll stop complaining about exhaustion, my party members. Um, so when I researched Baldur Baldur's Gate 1, it was very light research. I pretty much only researched up to this point. Which is um, going into Nashkel Mine. After that... I don't really know where we're going or what the plot is going to happen. Now, of course, I have played Baldur's Gate 2, so I do know some details. You know, honestly, I'm more interested in learning about Saravok and who Saravok is. Okay. Everybody, I'm looking for the Feldspar Inn. What do we got? That's the Jovial Juggler. That's Firebeard. Velda posts in. Okay, that's actually what I'm looking for. Check our journal. Okay, Velda posts in. A man by the name of Transig is there and should have interesting information for me. You know what? I bet Baroon Gast Kill was the guy. The owner of Nashkel Mines. Yeah, he probably would have given me a really big... Okay, well, I did things in the wrong order. What? Agreed. Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. What? Is this guy telling me to get out? What type are you <laughs> talking you about? You tell him, Marl. Okay, well, I don't care about you. I'm looking for a man named Transig. Anybody seen a man named Transig? It's Hephus. Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room for here. Okay, buddy, there's plenty of bar for all of us. I take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of your freakish adventures going out, consorting with God knows what, and dragging your trouble back into my hometown. What do you say to that? Let's keep it friendly. How about I buy you and the rest of the bar around? I got plenty of gold. Ain't a friend, you ain't mine. It'll be cold day on the night's plane before I drink with the likes of you. Best you keep your filthy dungeon money to yourself. Ah. Okay, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm going to just utterly slaughter you. Hey, don't click me. I don't want any trouble. The flaming fist will deal with you. Okay. Anyways. All right, everybody, let's check upstairs. Transig, there he is. Hello, good sir. Wait. Agreed. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. I'll get in trouble. Why do you bother me? Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? Why the hurry, Transig? You delay the inevitable. What? Who do you think you are, woman? Is it so commonplace for you to turn others to stone, mage? <gasps> Is this the same guy that turned you to stone, Branwen? It was like two episodes back we found Branwen as a stone statue. Oh my gosh. Awesome. You... How did you... I said I would see you dead before I see the shores of the isles once more, coward. And in Tempu's name I shall prepare yourself. Oh wait, no, we should probably keep him alive. Dang it! We should probably keep him alive, right? Damn it, okay. Well, 
I was hoping we'd be able to talk to him, but it looks like Bronwyn went ahead and started attacking. Sorry, we're gonna slaughter you. I can I can carry no more. I've started dropping things. You have need of me? By Valkor's mighty blade. Okay, let's have Bronwyn read the letter. No, no, keep it there. Transig. I'm perplexed as to why Mulehe 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 has not communicated with us in some time. We were to go to the mines and find out the condition of his operation. We were also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the Cobalts. Our next raid will most likely take place at Pel Peldvale or Larswood, so either of those areas can track us back to our camp, Tazok. Interesting. Yeah, just drop those off there. Shit. What am I doing? What am I doing? You guys, I think we really, really need to find... Um, you guys, like I was saying, we really need to find... Wait, is there anything we can grab in here? No? Okay. I should travel to Larswood or Peld Vale next. It appears that the bandit attacks come from there and are related to the iron shortage. There should be a base hidden away somewhere in the forests. Okay. Let's uh let's keep moving you guys. Every everybody keep You look moving troubled. Up. I shall. Agreed. Okay, so first off we should probably see how Worry far not. away either of these locations are. So you guys come to the edge of the map. Follow me to the end of the map. Is this the town of Baldur's Gate? Totally, probably. Okay, we started there. Traveling. Interesting. I'm not seeing. Maybe I just need to go to these forest areas because I am not seeing okay let's not go that way worry let's not let's look at the world map yeah I am not actually seeing too much but you know what that's okay I think in the next episode we will make our way to either of those locations Lars Fleet and Peldvel um but yeah, I'm definitely liking uh, Baldur's Gate. I think I say this at the end of ec every episode, but it's a cool game. It's fun. It's keeping me interested. But, but everybody, what I really want to do is play Baldur's Gate 3. So everybody, fingers crossed that I can uh, work a little more over the holiday season, earn up a little more money, and buy myself a PlayStation 5. Other than that, stay tuned to the Johnny Guitar channel for more Baldur's Gate content.